Gotta love coming down to Atlantic City. Always a good time down here. And I'm about a mile away from the boardwalk and also where my restaurant, The Chop House, is to check out what I hear is a real deal Southern restaurant. This is Kelsey and Kim's Southern Cafe. It's just all around good. <laughs> Fried white meat chicken. Put the soul in soul food. Bread, bubble, waffle, and chicken. So this is my buddy Robert. He's the valet at the uh, Bally's Hotel, actually where my restaurant is. This guy's been doing it forever. He's saying this place is legit. Kelsey's number one. He bring the South to South Jersey. <laughs> That'd be local chef Kelsey Jackson and his wife Kim, who started with takeout only back in 96, then upgraded to sit down here in 09. There's all kind of flavors just coming out of that kitchen. Makes your mouth water. How do you describe soul food restaurants to people? Food that you was raised up on, like collard greens, fried chicken, turkey chops, pork chops. What's a turkey chop? Freeze a whole turkey breast okay. and slice it down on a bandsaw and make chops. You get them okay, fried. I've smoke. been in the food business all my life. I mean, that's all I know is how to cook and how to do restaurants. Right. I've never heard of turkey chop. <laughs> Smothered turkey chops. Have you ever had a turkey chop? I have not had a turkey chop. Did you try the turkey chop? She's not sharing. It doesn't look like she has such a small, <laughs> petite portion either. They're definitely one of my favorites. We're going to make the gravy for the turkey chop. Start off with a little clarified butter, a little flour. So we're making the roux. We're going to brown our roux. It's all right. We're getting this going. Onions. we going to whisk that in real good. OK. Now we're going to add our chicken stock. So there's the gravy for it. We're going to add a little black pepper. And a little kitchen bouquet, some nice color. OK. Next up, time for the turkey chop. And that is, man, you're right. Now we're going to do our seasoning. A little seasoning salt, granulated garlic, Cajun seasoning, and black pepper. Gotcha. Mix it nice and good. Add it to the flour. Gotcha. And that's it. No wash or anything, just putting a little light coating on them. Light, nice little coating on them. Now they're ready for the fryer. Dig it. How long do they cook for? Three to five minutes in the fryer. Now we can raise salt our onions. Add our turkey chops. Now we add some of our homemade gravy we made. Sure love your onions, man. Yeah, nice onion flavor. Let that simmer for a minute. Ready to be served. So I'd like to peel off, strain bang. Some other turkey chops. Mm. That's real deal right there, bud. Tastes like a light pork chop. Mm. Breading's not too heavy. Nice little bit of onion flavor. You do like your onions. Yes. Mm. Nice job. This is the first time I've ever seen it. Nicely done, Kels. Thank Nicely you. Done. We're gonna have some pig's feet on Triple D. <laughs> Charles, how do we do it? First, you start off with some clean pig feet. Good idea on the clean part. <laughs> you gotta clean them. Cut in half, split. I'm just gonna parboil them. We'll start them up. How long are they gonna go? I'm gonna cook them like this for like 45 minutes to an hour. Drain the water off. Yeah. So that takes all the impurities out. There you go. Got it. So now we're gonna start off with some nice ham stock. Add some celery in there. Eat the skin and everything? Eat it all. You suck it down. A little chopped garlic, a little crushed red pepper. I like a little spice. OK. Guess what we're gonna put in next? A little onion. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna go in some green peppers and then finish off with some vinegar. And we're gonna let these cook for like another hour, hour and a half until the trotters get tender. Bam, they ready. Was that a bam you just did? I'm gonna call Emerald. <laughs> the trotters are nice and tender. I've had pigtails, pig ears, head cheese, I've had snout. I think I've had about every part of the pig. And ooh, you're just loading it up, aren't you? I'm, yeah, you gotta have I'm some. Uh, I'm gonna get some stock. Nothing like a little foot juice. There you go. Wasn't Kevin Bacon in a movie called Foot Juice? <laughs> some parsley. Jump in there. That piece right there. Oh, they're delicious. Yes, they are. Tastes like pork butt. Kind of got that same texture. Mm -hmm. mm. It's super tender. The broth is great with it. Good dynamite, man. So I've enjoyed all the parts of the pig now, I think. I just wrapped it up with some pig's feet. 